Hello and welcome to jQuery for Designers. My name is Remy Sharp and in this episode I'm going to show you uh, something slightly different from what I've done before. I had a friend contact me um, with a little JavaScript question and I thought it would be worth sharing what I did to, to help him out with, uh, with you uh, readers or viewers. So I understand the, the problem is going to be pretty bespoke to this individual but the way I approached it and the fix that I, I applied may help some of you. So this is the code that he sent me, and I'll get into this in a second. And this is the page that it, it would generate. And the problem was when you click on this home um, link, it should show an input button, uh, input field, which is fine. But what was happening was when you click on mobile down here, these would disappear, which is wrong. What he wanted is if you click on this, these ones couldn't be clicked on. So let me show you the code. This is the um, the binding, and this is basically where the uh, the action happens. But what I do before I even start looking at debugging code is I look at the code in the first place to try and understand what's going on in in the context of uh, the, the problem. So the first thing I noticed was this line. I've seen this before in other people's code as well, so it's worth kind of pointing out that that particular statement is the exact same thing as sorry, this. So what we're doing here is we're wrapping this, so the li for instance, in jQuery and then we're calling dot get and we're getting the first item, which is actually the this element we passed in. So dollar this dot get nor is the exact same syntax as dollar this naught which is the exact same syntax as this. So, for uh, simplicity, we don't need jQuery around that lot. The second thing I noticed is this uh, setup connection is creating an array of elements, basically. And the only time it's used in a code that I was given is in this block here, where it's then wrapped with jQuery, and then the, cl the add class disabled is attached to el every element in the array. And since jQuery does this natively, I figure there's no point in having an array. We might as well just run the selector and assign it to setup connections. So let's get rid of the, um, the code above and just get rid of these brackets. And that should still work. So if I um, run this code, yep, that still works. So that's all I needed to do to clean it up. And the problem with um, with my friend's code was this bit. He wanted to say, allow this functionality to happen if the uh, the li hasn't been disabled. Now the problem is this this code this um, click event is attached during uh, startup, so it happens once. So when the document is ready. We look for all the LIs that don't have the disable class, grab the lo those links and attach click handler. Now if I add the disable class later on during the page's lifetime, this click handler is still on the anchor. So what we need to do is during runtime we need to assert whether is that right? Well we need to we need to check whether or not the LI has the disable class or not, and if it doesn't then we can run this code. So if this dot parent, so we need to go up to the li, is disabled and we want to do not disabled, then run this code. And now let's get rid of the um, the not check here, so it applies to every single link in the first instance. Or maybe maybe some of them will be defo de disabled by default, but um, in the code that I was given, that wasn't the case. So we apply the click handler to all the links, and we say if the parent does not have the disabled class, then run this code. Now let's try that out. There you go. So this is um, this is basically checking in real time whether or not that class is applied to the parent, and then proceeds with the rest of the code. So, if you have any comments or uh, feedback or um, 
alternative solutions to this kind of thing, um, feel free to drop a comment on the jQueryForDesigners.com website. Thanks for watching.